to another live video. Hope you guys had a great holiday. Today I'll be talking about uh, the emperor angel. Very, very, uh, it's, a, it's a very common angel fish. Uh, very widespread. You can find them from uh, East Africa, Red Sea, and very rarely in Hawaii. And let me show you how it looks like. There's difference between the adults and the, and, uh, the juveniles. Let me show you one. right there there's one beautiful right so the thing about uh, the angels in the Pacific all of the juveniles have uh, white rim uh, white rims and blue in the Caribbean all of them are black with yellow lines so this guy is still in the in the quarantine well, they're pretty much done with the quarantine, and uh, let me let's go to the fish box, and I'll talk a little bit more about this beautiful fish. So you saw that one over there. That one was uh, it's still a, a very young juvenile. This one, it's kind of in between. It's starting to change to adult. I will show you a picture of adult that I have here on the book. So this is how they look when they are adults. Right now I don't have any, but uh, I'm working on getting a few. But they go from the way you saw it, the way you see it, and then it starts changing and changing. Eventually it goes all the way to adult form. That's normal. They do that. He's just trying to hide. And he's not happy because I caught him and he's on it's inside the fish book for you guys to see but uh, that's uh, that's how they look uh, all right so they like I said they come all the way from East Africa, Red Sea, how very rare in Hawaii, but usually you can you can see them, but it, they are rare in Hawaii. So they're from shallow water, fringing reefs, lagoons. Uh, adults usually can be found deeper. Usually you find them from nine feet to 250 feet. Size about 10 inches. They live for about 10 to 15 years. This guy, smaller ones, small juveniles, you can keep in the 100 gallon tanks, a lot of hiding spaces, a lot of caves and stuff like that because they like to hide and they like to have that comfort of being able to go into a little cave if a predator comes. Once they start becoming big, give them a bigger tank, once you give them as an adult, 180 gallons plus. They're semi-aggressive, If you can, you can keep an adult, a big one with a smaller one. Uh, but once the smaller one, the juvenile starts changing color, they will become a lot more aggressive. Uh, uh, what else? Feedings. They are omnivores, so they will eat pretty much uh, anything. Small crustaceans, uh, sponges. In the wild, they also eat tunicates, but tunicates are very hard to, to get. So if you have a very well established tank, usually you can find them. I'm going to release them. You can keep them with other angels like I have that. That's a flag fin angel. So that's uh, that's the angel right there. So right now, right now he's under that crate. So like I said, they like to be under something and crevices, especially if they are juveniles. Now, between the difference between the male and the female, they are sexually dimorphic and dichromorphic. Dimorphic means different. Uh, the body has a different shape. 
and the female oh. see they were fine together and since I took them out usually juveniles can be fine together but the thing is they gotta be added you gotta add them at the same time but uh and now since I took the one out and I add this one they just started oh this is the new guy so like I was saying males and females they have different slightly differences in color and, and the males will be bigger the colors you will see them more uh, the, the biggest the color difference you will see it more when they are going to be sexually mature when they are uh, when they are um, trying to mate that's that's when you see the biggest color difference uh, males are a little bit bigger will be bigger uh, Pacific form the ones from the Pacific they will have uh, the dorsal fin will have uh, will be pointed and the ones from Indian Ocean the dorsal fin will be round all right guys thank you very much for watching I'm going to put this one in a different tank and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you very much. How's it going?